For thousands of years, manufacturing has been guided by the same principle. We'll take a block of material, we'll machine or we'll carve or we'll chisel, we'll remove excess material from it until we get to the final shape. It's not much different from a hunter way back in time takes a larger rock and breaks it into pieces trying to make an arrowhead. Even though we're using high-tech machining methods, the underlying principle is basically the same. But there's been a revolution in manufacturing. Today, we can start with nothing and build an object from the bottom up only using the material that we need. 3D printing is so revolutionary because of the efficiency of the process. You can now design structures with almost unlimited customization. You can custom make medical components, knees and hips, different for each person. We see cars that are custom designed by individuals versus mass produced for everybody. If you can dream it up on a computer screen, you can print it very quickly. We're approaching the point where our only limitation will be our imagination. How oh, 3D printing changed the world. Audi uses 3D printing for manufacturing spare components with complex geometries, which are otherwise costly to make, considering the low volumes that are produced. However, the use of 3D printers is not just limited to the making of the spare complex parts. Now there are several startups like Divergent 3D that are prototype testing 3D printed cars. These startups have at present successfully created car frame bodies and chassis using 3D printers and are aiming to develop entire cars that can be 3D printed. Considering the nature of this technology, 3D printing helps to eliminate the waste and pollution that's created by factories and will not only change the automotive sector, but the entire manufacturing sector in the coming years as it advances over time. In the field of medical technology, a lot of research has been taking place to explore the opportunity of creating 3D printed organs that could be used as a substitute for organ transplants. Once fully functional, this technique could help doctors to create organs and tissues compatible with a specific patient's anatomy. And Aluxers, if you'd like to know some more about the advancements in the field of medical technology, you can check out our trends video, Survival of the Richest, How Long Until Billionaires Can Live Forever. In the field of construction, Dubai and China, who are considered to be construction giants, have been working on developing 3D printed houses and skyscrapers. In fact, a company in China has claimed to have built 10 houses in 24 hours using 3D printed technology, whereas Dubai is claiming to build 3D printed skyscrapers by 2030. Such applications in the field of construction will not only help in cutting down the manpower costs and inefficiencies involved, but also make it possible to build complex structures in shorter time and in a cleaner way. 3D printing is also disrupting the food industry, and 3D printers that can be used to print food have already been prototype tested in England. These 3D printers can be used to create food like pasta and hamburgers in your favorite shape, and all you need to do is cook them in a microwave once ready and eat. Sounds kind of fascinating, right? Some of these food printers are also available for sale, and you guys would be delighted to know that one of our favorite fast food giants, McDonald's, has announced it would be selling completely 3D printed hamburgers called McMac by 2020. The Biggest Players Although 3D printing is considered to be a niche market, it's growing rapidly and the whole sector is expected to become worth over $22 billion by 2022. One of the leaders in this space is HP. HP did not begin as a 3D printing company, but it has a dedicated arm that is testing next generation materials, which can be used for 3D printing. In 2017, HP unveiled the world's first state-of-the-art laboratory to help companies develop, test, and deliver the next generation of materials and applications for 3D printing. HP also has a 3D printing center in Guangdong, China, a country which is considered to be the global manufacturing hub. 
from a manufacturing point of view. 3D printing being an additive manufacturing technique is relatively cleaner, safer, and easier as compared to the traditional manufacturing techniques, like forming, molding, or milling, which require a skilled workforce and heavy machinery. At present, this technology is in a primary stage, and considering the cost involved, it's not affordable or accessible to all. But if 3D printers become advanced to the level of making anything and everything, we will soon be living in a world of point-of-sale manufacturing, and this can change the whole supply chain and logistics sector. The need for inventories and warehouses will no longer be there, and that would affect almost every industrial sector. Also, we are living in the time of customization rather than standardization, and 3D printing can definitely help us to create products that are more tailored as per specific requirements of an individual and make everyone's life a little better. Challenges and Threats the biggest challenge today is to bring down the cost of 3D printers and the entire process, including the materials that can be used. Right now, there are very few materials that can be used in 3D printing machines. Initially, 3D printing was limited to only the use of plastics and polymers, and even today, the types of materials that can be used in making 3D printed objects are limited to only a few materials that can be extruded through the printing machine injectors. Also, since the objects that can be created using a 3D printer completely depend on the computer program Blueprint used, the feature itself is proving to be a threat for this advanced technology. Recently, a downloadable Blueprint for making a 3D printed gun was sold by a website called Defense Distributor on the Internet. This blueprint can actually be used by an individual to print a non-traceable plastic gun using a 3D printer. All someone would need to use this plastic printed gun like a normal loaded gun is a firing pin and a standard metal nail and a 6 ounce piece of steel, whose function is to make the gun spottable by a metal detector. The gun is called the Liberator and we can very well imagine what would happen if it falls into the wrong hands. Use of 3D printing in the making of ammunition and guns can definitely be a major threat for the entire world since objects made by 3D printers do not need any legal licenses and are not under the control of any government's authority in the world. Conclusion Disruptive technological advancements like 3D printing are always considered a double-edged sword that can be both constructive and destructive at the same time. Since objects that can be produced using a 3D printer have no constraints and there are no legal laws about the use of 3D printers, the end user is going to be the ultimate decision maker. That's why as this technology advances, we will definitely see new applications and disruptions in the various sectors that will be a result of this technology and will change the world we live in. But whenever that happens, the end use will purely depend on our own judgment. We're sure you Aluxers will make the right choice whenever judgment time arrives.